Those familiar with the Book of Mormon are also well acquainted with an organization called the Gadianton Robbers. They're distinguished as secret combinations, and we learn about secret combinations throughout the scriptures, especially in the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. But what do they have to do with us today? Why aren't they just something that should be relegated to just interesting history that really has nothing to do with us in our day? Well, the prophets have warned us that they do have application to us in our day. Let's learn a little bit about secret combinations, their history, and how they apply to us today. We learn in the scriptures that secret combinations have been around since the beginning. In the book of Helaman, chapter 6, verses 26 and 27, we read, Now behold, those secret oaths and covenants did not come forth unto Ganianton from the records which were delivered unto Helaman. But behold, they were put into the heart of Gadianton by that same being who did entice our first parents to partake of the forbidden fruit. Yea, that same being who did plot with Cain, and he did plot with Cain and his followers from that time forth. So in this scripture, it gives us a little bit of history of serial combinations and the history of the world, and let us know that serial combinations have been around since the very beginning, since the times of Cain. And that secret combinations have their origin with Satan. And that people are inspired by Satan to engage in them. And that they started with Cain and that they have gone on with all of the followers of Satan from that time forth. We read a little bit more about how it started from, from Cain in the book of Moses. Chapter 5, verse 25, it reads, And it shall be said in time to come that these abominations were had from Cain. Now this scripture is very interesting because not only does it tell us that these secret combinations were started from the time of Cain, but that they would continue onward. And not only that they would continue onward throughout time, but they have their origination from Cain, that they are all connected. Now we read fast forward to verse 51. It says, From the days of Cain there was a secret combination, and their works were in dark. And again, it says, Since the time of Cain. So from the very beginning to today, we have had seer combinations, and they work in darkness. Our modern day prophets have warned us about these seer combinations that we have today. In General Conference of October 1995, Elder Joseph B. Worthland said, The Lord has warned repeatedly against the evils and designs of conspiring men in our day who would enslave us. That might come as a surprise to some people to say that the prophets have warned us repeatedly against the evils and designs of conspiring men in our day who would enslave us. But the Lord and his servants have warned us repeatedly. Let's start in the Doctrine and Covenants with the words of the Lord himself. Go to Doctrine and Covenants section 89, the Lord's Law of Health, or the Word of Wisdom. He explains to us why he gave us the Word of Wisdom. The Lord said, In consequence of evils and designs which do and will exist in the hearts of conspiring men in the last days, I have warned you and forewarn you by giving unto you this word of wisdom by revelation. So the Lord explains to us that he is giving us this word of wisdom, one of the main reasons being because of conspiring men in our day, as Elder Worthland said, who seek to enslave us. Another modern day prophet, Joseph Fielding Smith, warned us, one mastermind is governing the nations. It is not the President of the United States. It is not the King or Government of England or any other land. It is Satan himself. Now, as we learned in the Book of Mormon, that Satan, of course, is the originator or the inspirer of these secret combinations. So, as the Lord warned us about the secret combinations that seek to enslave us through health, El Joseph Fielding Smith warns us of secret combinations that seek to destroy our political freedom. President Ezra Taft Benson, in one of his last General Conference addresses, in General Conference of October 1988, warned us that a secret combination that seeks to overthrow the freedom of all lands, nations, and countries is increasing its evil influence and control over America and the entire world. So he warns us about these secret combinations that seek to enslave the entire world and that they are not just small little secret combinations like the mafia or the gangs, but these are people like the Book of Mormon that seek to control the government and seek to control the government of the entire world. 
Elder Bruce R. McConkie warned us in General Conference that Gadianton robbers fill the judgment seats in many nations. An evil power seeks to overthrow the freedom of all nations and countries. President J. McClark of the First Presidency in General Conference warned us, Do not think that all these usurpations, intimidations, and impositions are being done to us through inadvertency or mistake. The whole course is deliberately planned and carried out. Its purpose is to destroy the Constitution and our constitutional government. Again, we learn from the prophets of God that these secret combinations exist today, that they affect us today, and they seek to destroy our freedom through many different means. We've been placed on earth in troubled times. We live in a complex world with currents of conflict everywhere to be found. Political machinations ruin the stability of nations. Moroni warned us that the secret combinations of Gadianton are head among all people. Wherefore, O ye Gentile, and that term Gentile in that place in the Book of Mormon refers to us in our generation. It is wisdom in God that these things should be shown to you, that you thereby may repent of your sins and suffer not that these murderous combinations shall get above you. Wherefore, the Lord commandeth you, when you see these things come among you, that you shall awake to a sense of your awful situation because of this secret combination which shall be among you. Conspiring men and women intent on gain rather than goodness stir up the people to all manner of wickedness. We need to remember Edwin Burke's statement, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. We need to raise our voices with other concerned citizens throughout the world in opposition to the current trends. Ron I wrote to our generation, I speak to you as if ye were present. The, Pro the Book of Mormon is a voice of warning to this generation. See how vividly it describes conditions on the earth today. And it shall come in a day when the blood of the saints shall cry unto the Lord because of secret combinations and works of darkness. Among the lessons we learn from the Book of Mormon are the cause and effect of war and under what conditions it is justified. It tells of the evils and dangers of secret combinations, which are built up to get power and gain over the people. It tells of the reality of Satan and gives an indication of some of the methods he uses 